Hi friends, and welcome to Decorate Your Life, Scrapbooking and Card Making. So I have something neat to share with you today, and I know that these have been out for the longest time, and the larger ones are discontinued, they're no longer available, but I've been wanting to work with one of these for a very long time. So through Amazon, I, I ordered the Tim Holtz Folio, and this is the small version, and um, I I, I've been cleaning up my craft room moving from my small craft room to a much larger crafting space and so you know how it is when you're going through your stuff you find papers you find things in your stash that you had completely forgotten that you had and so this was the case with this so when I found my Bo Bunny winter wishes collection and these are beautiful papers by Bo Bunny for Christmas and so I did make a mini album from this collection a couple of years ago and sent it to my friend Sandra and so um, I was afraid that I was gonna run out because I only had a few papers left from this collection and I went ahead and I used my Frank Garcia Christmas papers from last year and so because the Winter Wishes Bow Bunny uh, includes pink in this collection I went ahead and used the Frank Garcia pink papers I thought it was really neat and so <laughs> I'm going to tell you about the back in a little bit before I, I open and I do the walkthrough. <clears throat> while fixing up my craft room and I will do a craft room tour when I'm ready to do one but right now I'm still putting a lot of things away straightening things out and so forth categorizing and so you know how it is and I this item that I I'm about to show you I had it up on my shelf and my son um, kind of sort of uh, he's hand heavy in some ways he has autism and sometimes he doesn't know how gentle or how rough he can be with something and he tends to slam doors open <laughs> Not slam them shut, but slam doors open, okay? I don't know how he does it, but that's how he does it. So when he slammed the door open, okay, this thing that I'm about to show you literally fell on my head. <laughs> it fell on my head, and I was like, ta-da, you know, those light bulb moments. And so I said, I'm going to use it in my folio. So let me show you the back of this folio because I thought it went so well with it. <laughs> this is one of those loaded envelopes that was sent to me. And oh my gosh, when I saw the colors, I was like, yes, yes, that's what I want to use. And it already has the pocket. And let me go ahead and pull this out real quick. And so I was like, this is perfect absolutely perfect for the back of my tim holtz folio so <laughs> it had to fall on my head <laughs> for me to use it and i don't know if you can tell right along here as you can see i had already made a back cover for my folio but um yeah since i, I was like so happy that that this fell on my head because I was like this is absolutely perfect for my project so I went ahead and I used my artist glitter glue to glue this uh, the back of this to here and I did have to do a couple of um, uh, what do you call it uh, I, I did have to change a couple of things in in this loaded envelope for example over here this was hanging like so so and, and there was something right along here that I just had to uh, trim off and it left with this hanging so I just brought it right back up and I just uh, well I had to take this out I glued this up this way and then I glued this on top of it and there was something here that I did remove and something else and that something else was this over here <clears throat> excuse me this right here and I love how she added the pom-pom to it and everything because see this this is what the pom-pom looks like on the loaded envelope and so I can just bring it forward like this and it looks so cute but yeah I love this and I love the fact that 
but it already has a pocket here and a pocket here and another pocket there so if ever you're you're uh scratching your head and 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 wanting to know what you can do with all those lovely uh, loaded envelopes that you have received from swaps and everything and happy mail, use them in your folios. <laughs> so here are some tags I um, that I'll be matting, actually, not some tags. How does this go? It's upside down, right side up. I can't tell, okay, it, like so. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be making some photo mats with this. This is from the Bow Bunny Winter Wishes collection. And I think it goes like this. No, it goes like this. Okay, so I will be turning these into photo mats, uh, putting them on mats so that we can put pictures on them or make some cards or something, just something, a booklet, whatever, with it. And this is from a swap. It's a lovely Christmas tag from a swap that I went ahead and I'm gonna be using right here. And it already comes with a pocket. See that? She made a pocket, so I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so yeah, that is, I have been hinting about this on Instagram, and this is what I wanted to show you, you know, and, and it fits perfectly too, you know, because if you follow the dimensions of a loaded envelope, and um, it fits it so well, okay? So let me go ahead and open this up, like so, and ta-da! <laughs> another tag that I got from a swap and I decided to do this as a tuck spot so all I did was just glue it here and glue it here and oh my gosh okay now if you've been following my videos my scrapbooking videos with tags and so forth you know how I love to use packaging especially if it's pretty packaging and this bow bunny uh, tag that I made I did use my graphic 45 uh, tag die that that large one and so um, yeah and that's what I used for this. And on the back, all I did was just add some Bow Bunny paper from this very same collection and a little bit of washi to cover that area up. And I think it looks so great. And I just love using pretty packaging. So this is a tag and goes tucked in right along here. And here is a booklet that I made. And, and really and truly, this is what I'm planning to do with the tags that I showed you over here. I just wanna make some booklets. And so this goes right there. And for this part here, I know I've seen a ton of videos for this Tim Holtz folio and a lot of ladies do, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, geez, they add flips to this. And when it comes to flips, I'll, I'll, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a fan of vertical flips. In other words, I rather open the book out than open it up. Does that make sense? So anyways, that is a reason why I just left this like so. And what I'm going to do here is just add a picture here or um, some sentiments or something and another picture there. This uh, folio comes with this um, and I'll go ahead and post a picture on it right along there so that it'll better explain if you have never seen one of these. And you can pretty much do these things as tuck spots and whatnot. So what I decided to do was just add regular pages to those, oh gosh, I don't know what to call them, but the picture will explain. And so I added pages to it and I just use regular craft cardstock, and I had a bunch of craft cardstock that I haven't used in forever. So this was the perfect opportunity for me to use a lot of the things that I've forgotten about or that I just haven't been using. So I just did regular pages. I did use uh, some die cut stickers from the very same bow bunny collection over here i did a small envelope and i just trimmed it right along there and i added a little booklet and that goes right along here and this is from my tim holtz oval i think it's called fancy frills oval frame die <laughs> something but you know what I will any any of the materials that I can find online I'll go ahead and link you to those in the area underneath this video and so 
yeah, it flips like this. And over here we have more chipboard stickers. And I have, I thought this looked really cute. This is a tuck spot that I made with one of my heartfelt creations, uh, dies, corner dies. And here is another booklet that I made. Just simple, simple, you know, just giving it enough opportunity for pictures. And this is what the back to that looks like. And over here, like so. And this frame right here, along with this mat, I, I die cut with um, another Sizzix die. And I will link you to it in the description area below this video. And here are more chipboard stickers. And these stickers right here, these are just regular... Um, um, snowflake stickers. I don't remember where I got them, but I've been sitting on these for a couple of years. So I thought that looked really cute. And here is the next page. And don't you just love this paper? I love this paper and I'm so glad that I found it and that I got another opportunity to use it. And here is a um, banner with some more chipboard stickers and all of my chipboard stickers except for the snowflakes are from Bow Bunny and most of them are for this collection and so this is what the other page looks like and right along here and what I'm really loving about these Tim Holtz folios is that you can get as as elaborate or as simple as you wish now see this right here this is from that other picture that i showed you over here okay and so all i did was add a dimensional snowflake to it and so and this is the last page and yet another frame from Sizzix. and this is one of the um square journaling cards that you get from this very same collection chipboard sticker and chipboard sticker and the way this closes is actually different because you do have a hole here and you have a hole here and these are actually supposed to go like so but like i said i watched a ton of videos old videos on these tim holt folios and a few of the ladies were using it this way and uh this was the best way that worked for me so I really really enjoyed this project and as you can see over here here's a hint of I was writing out of paper by the time I got to here I had no more um, long long length long length <laughs> no more lengthy papers to pull from that would cover the entire page so what I did was I used um, I want to say this is from this collection okay <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I went ahead and did this and I just love, love the way this turned out. I'm going to go ahead and add some Christmas pictures from what year. I'm not sure just yet. And so let's see, this closes like so, this closes like so. And it's going to get real chunky after the picture. So I'm glad that we have this elastic thing. And oh yeah, by the way, this closure button right here, this is from Graphic 45. And um, yeah, and it goes like so and like so, and I just love it. And yeah, if you want to make one like these, and if you want to find uses for your loaded envelopes, use them in your folios. So yeah, thank you so very much for watching, and don't forget to check the links at the bottom of this video. Bye!